Hey there, Bridge Kids parents. I just wanted to pop in and give you a few details for tomorrow's service. If your child has a solo, please be at church at 945. If your child does not have a solo, please be at church by 10 o'clock so that we can practice on our song on the stage. Now, because tomorrow is a kid and youth led service, it's going to look very, very different. If you like surprises and not knowing what's going to happen, then feel free to ignore what I'm about to say because it's full of spoiler alerts. If not, and you would like to know, here's what to expect tomorrow. You will arrive at either 945 or 10 o'clock and head to the first couple of rows of each section in the church to claim a seat while the kids are practicing. It's going to be packed tomorrow. You're going to want to get a seat. We will have the first couple of rows blocked off in every section. These are for you, the parents. We're going to need you to be close to the kiddos for the morning because they will not be dismissed at all tomorrow and will stay in the service the entire time. The kids will sing their song to open the service and they will stay on stage and sing two more Christmas carols with the worship team. Once they are finished singing and helping lead carols, they will move to sit on the floor in front of the stage facing the stage. We expect and want this to be a very interactive experience for everyone tomorrow. And so there will be a lot of movement on stage to hopefully keep their attention. However, we know it's a lot, so we're relying on you to help us with that. Please feel free to get out of your seat and sit on the floor with them if that's helpful or escort them back to your seat with you if you feel that's needed. Once they are seated on the floor after the singing, there will be on stage a skit, a brief devotional from Tyler, very interactive, and then a brief devotional thought from me. And I will sit on the stage closer to them. So hopefully that will help them focus. After that, we will move to our communion for the morning. Now it's not gonna be a traditional communion. We are going to do a communal art activity. The entire congregation is participating and we think it's going to be amazing. During this part of the service, there will be ushers dismissing sections row by row. You, the parents, will be the first rows dismissed. When you are dismissed, please gather your kids from the floor and take them with you to the art station you are directed. From this point on, they will be with you for the remainder of the morning. They will not go back to the floor. Once your family is finished at the art station, then you will all head back to your seat. Now, once you get back to your seat, there will be some questions posted on the screens in the sanctuary. Please discuss these questions with the people around you, including the kids, um, as you're waiting for everyone else to finish with their turn at the art station. When everyone is finished at the art stations, we will reveal the communal project on stage, have a quick final word from James, and then sing one more song before we are dismissed. There will be lots of people at the art stations to help facilitate. Kinsey and I will be there all morning and our teaching team for this week will be either on the floor or in the chairs, helping the kids to focus as well. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Text or call me today though, because tomorrow I'm gonna be really hard to catch. Thank you guys for being a part of this. It's going to be wonderful. It's gonna be amazing and I can't wait to experience this with you all. We'll see you tomorrow.